And welcome back to some more Enshrouded. Right. Okay, so we didn't find much yesterday, but we have gotten a comment. Again, from uh, Mr. Furry Ronan, also known as Gareth. So we are going to explore that. So he says, thanks for the shout out. Enjoying my videos. Thank you. Uh, he is also lore hunting. Uh, let's see. Apartments. There's, uh, yeah. Emperor Solo Part 1, Hidden Tomb. We've discovered that. From the ancient spire, fast along across the hill, there's a diagonal line to the large bridge. The hunter quests end. On the other side of Hillock, there's a cemetery with a chapel. Uh, hidden Tomb. Yeah, we found that. In the whole of Hall's Revel Wood is the final place of the emptiness sets in, I think, a table near the entrance. Not the first one had to search for the rest. Oh, I do believe that I found that. As some bonus hollow lore, when you hidden hollow tomb head north east just under the abandoned hunter camp, there's a tower under construction. It has lots of pieces under the march on the walls. The top, yeah, I found found those. Hmm. Appointments reached that source to location, eh? Hang on, have I already found that? Maybe? Let's see. It should be over this way. Is this one that shows the location? Hmm. Let's see, because here's the lore that I think that is, uh, forgive me, flame. The emptiness sets in. Yeah, that's the one that he was referring to, right? Uh, let's see, the emptiness sets in. Oh, hang on a minute. Yeah, okay, that's the one that shows the location. So, yeah, I had already gotten that. Now, hang on, does that mean if we go back to the lore? Let's see. Hmm. Okay, so we've already found all of those, I believe. So we've already found the lore that points to the location of that. Hmm. But then I think that there's not necessarily lore for the first Hollow Hall dungeon location because you get that location from the Alchemist, if I remember correctly. Maybe. Okay, so we might have found everything already. Because all the lore that he was referring to, I do believe that we found whoop, early on. Is hang on, I saw some explosions. Explosions. Oh yes. But we're gonna go and have a look. See anyhow. Let's see. Because the tower should be right here. Yeah, yeah. I found all of those. Okay, so we take the. Hmm. What is this place? It looks suspicious. Very suspicious. Why is there a tent in the middle of nowhere? Oh, chest. Yes. Okay, not bad. A little bit of a chest. Nothing too much hidden. And there shouldn't be anything down in the shroud of this area, I do believe. Okay, now we're at Revelwood and I hear piggies. Okay, come on. There we go. Omnivorous piggies. Okay, let's see. Where are we? The tower should be right around here. Yeah. Boy, is this game pretty. I should really have made a base around this area. Let's see, because that place is so here. Right, and that encampment also doesn't show any. Okay, let's see. Let's have a thorough look at this place. Now, I do believe that I've searched this one. But, yeah, let's let's make sure. Oh, the bastard. Okay, they're at least not that high level. Two hits. That's all. Oh, jumpy wolf. Okay, explosions. Now, hang on. Before I do any explosions, I should search the place first. All right. Because there's some chest with bombs. Fantastic. More chest and more explosions. I'm gonna blow up this entire place that I am. Let's see. Anything in here? No. Let's see. Nothing up here. Okay. Well, nothing here. Time to do some explosions. So oh, I need to hit in order for it to explode. Ah, destruction. Yes, more destruction. And let's see. A little bit long shot destruction. Everything just blows up nice and steadily. And explosions. <laughs> Ooh, yes. Now, these things don't blow up immediately, do they? No, but they do great with explosions. And that's the tower that he was talking about. Okay, so we might have found... No, I'm not gonna say for certain. But yeah, I think we have found the lore that we need to find for the hollow holes, because that's one... Did I just... Oh, right. Yeah, that was just... Yeah, that was a deer thingy. Yeah, I think that we have found all the lore that we need for the hollow holes. Then again, there's some weird stuff around, so not 100%. Because there's lore at the bottom of this thing, and also at the very top. Yeah, and that other lore page is over here. Well, right there, and then a chest. With some random stuff. Okay, now, I'm gonna just have a look. I know that I miss some lore. I found, well, alchemy series, bugged. Everything else I have found, then again, it could still be hidden pages around 
Is this, this, this the one? Hmm, yeah, that's the loop uh, that's supposed to be in uh, Nomad Highlands, close to the Pillars of Creation. And we, I do believe that we still miss the Pillars of Creation one. Yeah, also the Caravan to Longkeep. Yeah, Pillars to Creation, the first one. Other than that, we are basically set when it comes to lore. Now, there's still the question of Excalibur, where that sword could be, if it exists, if it's in a stone, if it's in a lake, the Lady of the Lake. But again, we don't have lakes. Ah, we do have fiery shroudy lakes. Like we do. Ooh, and I also want to personally thank Wicked Jester, because of him I have become a professional YouTuber. Yes, I now get monies for... <laughs> oh, come on, get back, get back your mushroom. Okay, arrow. Another arrow. And a schmack. That's a tough mushroom. Jesus. Yes, I now get paid to be a YouTuber. Uh, I mean, it's two bucks a month, but... It's still, it's still something, and I highly appreciate that. Yeah, but I'm making my way, so now I'm gonna brag to all of my friends and family that I'm a professional YouTuber. I also told my wife, she was happy, and I said, well, now it's the time that you can get a divorce and you will get half of my money. A total of one dollar a month. <laughs> uh, I'm not trying to ri ridicule the amount, I mean, I need to reiterate, I'm not expecting payment from what I'm doing. My content is always gonna be free, that's a promise. Uh, but it does help with, oh, that people are actually watching my videos and they seem to enjoy most of it. Now again, I don't really have that many goals when I just start to play because again, I don't have that much time to uh, play anymore. But hopefully, when the Ashlands update comes out for Valheim, I'll have an, a little bit more content. Okay, we're gonna just continue to explore a little bit here and there. Now we're just gonna run wild. Oh! Rats. Let's see. This area. Is this, this is not marked on the map. Why do I have a custom marker over here? Why do I have a custom marker over there? Oh, rats. Jesus. Yeah, okay, there's... Okay, one rat that didn't get it. Uh, let's see, there's a chest. What's in the chest? Rats. Poison arrows. Okay, sure. Uh, just gonna double check. Yeah, nothing over me. Now, I had placed a marker over there. Why have I done that? Is that to show... Oh, why is there a marker here? That's a falling mushroom. Hang on, there's maybe something up there. Let's have a look. I can't really remember. Come on, man. Parkour. Hardcore parkour. I said hardcore parkour. It looks like there's something up there. Let's see. Can we do a like a soul? Uh, no, that's gonna be difficult. Let's see. I mean, but we can use bombs for our advantage, right? Like a soul. Anything up here? No. What's with the marker? I mean, it could. Let's see. Uh, create a marker. Hmm? No, that's supposed to be white. I've made it blue for a reason. But what could blue mean? Yeah, let's head up there. Because this is just that. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Can we fly this way? We can. It's not this mine that I'm referring to. Oh, why do I have a marker right here? That is strange. There's nothing here. Huh. Okay. That's strange. Oh, what was that? That was plant fiber. Okay. Huh. Why do I have a marker here? Might have been a misclick of some sort. Maybe it used to be something around here? Hang on. Oh, piggies? Is that poison sack? Huh. Oh, right. Maybe they lose their poison sack when you hit them. Okay, well, we can do an experiment. Okay, get over me out. Ah, yeah, they do. Okay. So you should explode those if you want to farm the poison sacks and also with the red mushrooms to get the uh, poison glands. Okay, interesting. Yeah, because I don't think there's anything down here. There could be. Let's see, okay, here's a couple of flowers. Yeah, big brain time. Now, this place. Two flowers, could there be anything? No. It's always suspicious to find mud places like these. Now, hang on. There's a cave. Huh. Let's see, I did create some wisp potions so we can see. What is this cave? That's a spider cave, eh? Okay. Hmm. Spiders. Now, could this be the location that I try to mark? I mean, it's not really... Huh. No, I don't think so. Yeah, let's destroy some of the cobwebs. Just in case there's something hidden. But it doesn't look like there's anything. Hmm. So just a random cave, eh? Ow. Okay. Almost died. Hmm. Okay, so a random 
Luminous Growth Cave. And this also looks weird. Here's there's structures. Why are there structures here? Okay, no, I find this suspicious. Wow, shoot. Okay, I'm blowing up, blowing up the structures. Let's see. Nothing underneath them. Like, hmm. That's just stone. A little bit of copper. Okay. Hmm. Hum, hum, hum. Oh, boy, is it starting to get hot? <sighs> we took the good weather with us when we came back from vacation. Now it's hotter here than it was in the tropical place. Not that I'm gonna complain. We do have air conditioning. But, I mean, that is noisy. Okay, so I think that I need to explore more of Pillars of Creation. Because I do believe there's something in Raven's Keep or close to it. Because I also did find something at Zora's Rest. Hmm, okay, let's just travel up to our vantage point. A little base up in the sky. And let's see. Okay, well, now I'm falling. That's fine. Where could stuff be? Because that's the Pillars of Creation. Now, there should technically be something at the beginning of that. And also, the Sister Sister stuff should be over there. And also, the Caravan to Long Cape should be close to the Ocean's Heart. Hmm. Yeah, it's not, it's not gonna be easy to find the remaining lore. Okay, just for giggles, I'm gonna see if I can get a higher level uh, Dragon Sword. I mean, it's always legendary, but I want it in higher level too. I mean, I guess it would be a little bit too OP if you would have a guaranteed sword. Uh, that was legendary. Okay, here's the Dragon Cave. Let's just fly straight in. Hopefully I don't run out of stamina. And is uh, level 80. And fine. Fine, just fine. Um, you can't build with ancient bones, can you? I mean, you, I know that you can make bone blocks, but let's see. No, that is just material, say. Uh, let's get a buff. Where's the enemies? Okay, they're a little bit out and about. Right -o. Okay, let's uh, explore a tiny little bit. This is a scavenger camp. And explosions. Okay, stuff is a little bit higher level. But that should be fine. I heard a wolf. Where's the wolf? There's the wolf. Okay, so nothing more here. No. Let's see. And down there. What is... What do we have down there? That's just an elixir well that I've been to. Yeah, I do believe I explored a lot of that area when I was searching for the second lore at uh, Fox Chase. <laughs> it was still funny that the uh, lore was just hidden in a corpse. Well, that is probably where a lot of the lore that I miss is. Probably lootable stuff. Possibly. Then again, it might be the same scenario with uh, Jasmina's axe. That it might be a little bit bugged. We will see. I mean, I'm gonna wait for the update. And a chest to see. It's gonna be interesting to see when the update comes out because they did promise more weapons. Okay, and that cat is just running. That's fine. If he's running away, I'm not gonna bother him. Let's see, in this little area. Yeah, I've been here. Now you remember the chest. Now I did also get the thunder axe. I did it get it in uncommon. Wonder if you can get that in legendary. And there was a comment of someone that is gathering all of the different uh, weapons. And I do believe that I've pretty much gotten all the weapons, but I've only kept the legendary ones. And the ones that are obviously rare. Uh, like the poisonous hatchet from those weird scavenger people. Oh, it would be good to have one of those in Legendary. It feels like melee damage with poison doesn't really do that much damage. Okay, yeah, I've been over there. Could it be down in the shroud? Let's see, yeah, I was at this area. Uh, but again, you never really know if there's something hidden. This is level 18 stuff, yeah. No, probably not something here. I mean, there could be. Ow, this is a trap, yeah. I mean, not sure why I had to jump on it, but compulsive thoughts got to me. Yeah, and there's more VUCA. Hmm. What if we travel a little bit this way, maybe? Do we have anything interesting here? A VUCA cave passage and a flaming sanctum. Flaming sanctum, eh? I mean, might as well have a look-see. Okay, yeah, I remember being here. But, gonna do a double take, just in case. There's a wish potion. I wonder, is that guaranteed? Because if I place down a flame altar over here, log in and out, do I get infinite potions? Ah, again, it doesn't take long to gather up wisp potions. And chicken. Eggs? No eggs. Alright. Zephyr, we've been over there. Ah, we might as well loot a little bit at this place. Give it a go. Yeah, because this area, I do believe that uh, these chests have very good loot tables. Uh, elder trousers, don't need those. Yeah, I'm gather up a little bit of extra weaponry. Lumenshade Axe. I mean, that's the Shroud Axe. 
Alright, I don't think there's anything too much rare here. Chapter sliding. Oh yeah, I just kept that because it was level 1. It was weird. It's one of those. I suppose. And, and extra pair of gear. Hang on, do I have? Yeah, I do have those. Keep that. Mm, Alright. Okay, I kind of want to double check the chest where I got the axe. Because it wasn't a legendary chest. I do believe it was a silver chest. Okay, let's have a look see. It should be right over this way. Or could it be something at the top of this thing? I don't think I've been on, on the top here. Looks like something. There's a bird. Okay. Oh, hang on. What? Come on. Come on. I mean, I can just do like so, can't I? Uh, I forget about out, uh, auto aim. It's way more fun to uh, aim at your own. Uh, what's this? That's, oh, raw iron ore. Okay. Well, it was something up here. Nothing too interesting, but a bird. Armadillo type animal and a little bit of iron. Okay, well the chest that I got the thunder axe from should be right down Yeah, right? No, I do need to be careful. Let's see. Was it here? Yeah, I do believe it was behind this guy. Oh, bumper beetle. Okay, uh, let's see. Can we see stuff? Okay, at least the ghosts I can just run backwards from. Come on. There we go. A little bit of melee action. Yeah, they do. They do take quite a few hits. At least they stagger when you hit them, so they're not that dangerous. Now, the big boyos over here, they could be a problem. Where's the bumper beetle? There's two of them. Oh, God. Okay. Uh oh. Ooh, boy. Yeah, okay, that's one. Need another one. Come on, stand still, you. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Now, that guy, I think we can avoid a little bit. Ooh, come on. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, the combat is. Uh, it can be challenging. Ah, oh, another one of these. Okay, let's just loot this. I don't think that was anything too good, was it? That is... Traitor's Bow? Traitor's Bow. I don't think I've ever gotten a Traitor's Bow before. What does it say? This bow fires easily against creatures of the Shroud. Piercing damage, Shroud magic damage. Traitor's Bow. Hmm. I mean, again, I don't really keep anything that isn't legendary, but let's have a look-see. If you look at your stash. Let's see, I should have quite a bit of bows. No, that's armor. Hmm. No Traitor's Bow, eh? We've got Shadow Bane. I need to make a proper order of this, but Traitor's Bow. Okay, it's um, it should be interesting. Now, I do have uh, quite a few Flame Walkers that I could uh, just use. That chest is a little bit interesting. Maybe I should try... Hmm, maybe a little bit. Maybe I'll do a slight loot -a jig Okay, let's get... Um, let's clear out our inventory. Okay, now we have a flame altar. Now I do wonder, there's also a legendary chest right down here. Maybe I should place down the flame altar there. If we place, we place down the flame altar over there, then we can loot this thing, just to see if there's anything fancy. And we can fly down here. Now if we do a little bit of loot exploitation, let's just give it a little bit of a go and see what happens. Uh, is it straight down here? I can't see is what here. Yeah, let's see. Can we be fast about looting? I'm not sure did I get anything. <laughs> I mean, that's gonna be difficult. Okay, I think that I might need to have my HUD enabled for this. <laughs> Just in case that I die. Okay, we're gonna do a quick looting session. Since I haven't done that since, well, basically my speedrun. Oh, and of course after the update. Let's see. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> this, is, uh, <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. White wolf sword, not bad. Okay, try not to die. Now, I just have a feeling that this is some sort of special type of chest, because you can just fly straight down over Meow. Don't really have to maneuver any other way. But yeah, I mean, got the spiked bow. Never seen that in Legendary. Okay, where are we? Ow. Okay, a little bit of the wrong place. Come on, wait. Now, hang on. That's the enshrouded axe. Right. Hmm. Should be right down here. Oh, okay, try not to die. Now I could probably just build a platform right above the chest over here and then just fall straight down, but as for now, it is working. It's just a little bit hard to know exactly where the chest is. I mean, it should be right over there. Okay. Ow. <laughs> what was that? Shroud corrupted hammer? Huh. Ow. Oh, am I dead? Maybe. Did I just survive? Okay, I did survive. Oh boy. Okay, a little bit of food. Yeah, I mean, you should definitely do this with better armor. I mean, again, I almost have a full armor set right now. Well, we did get 
Twisted Wand. I do believe that I've seen that before. Let's see, Twisted Wand. A fell Hammer. I don't think I've seen that. Forest Longbow. Lettuce Wand. Shrouded Axe. I do believe I've seen that too. A Spiked Bow, maybe. And that, Wolf's Maw. I would like the Wolf's Maw in Legendary, maybe. So we have this thing. Hmm, looks kind of fancy. Ooh, yeah, I don't think I've seen this axe before. That looks fantastic. Hmm, now this axe, I do believe I have that in Legendary. Oh no, hang on a minute. Oh, that's a cool looking bow. That it is. I mean, I don't have to have Legendary stuff. I mean, this looks amazing. Because the other glowing... Uh, glowing bows, they usually are either the same glow as the legendary armor or blue. Okay, it's so uh, interesting. Okay, gonna do a few more. Okay, trying it to die. <laughs> oh god. Ah, noble sword, I have that in legendary. I also change up my armor a little bit just so that I don't spend all of my potions. Okay, and then it goes right down. You know. Almost seems like the location changes every time. Oh god. Okay, okay, hang on. Jesus. Biscuit. Oof. Okay, I need to be a little bit faster. Okay, this is gonna be the last one, so give me something good. Yeah, I'm sure. Come on, come on. Right down here. Get quick loot. And then run away. What did I get? Yeah, Eagle Eye Boots. Oh, the sneaky bastard. It does seem like the legendary chests only drop a certain type of loot. I mean, there has to be another chest that could be better. I know that there's silver chest over here at whatever this you know, thing was called shore watch yeah there's uh there should be a couple of silver chests over here at least one at the top of this thing now i do believe that i could probably just place down a flame altar right here uh geez. okay well i guess i'll uh, take care of these bastards that's enough yeah Okay, so I think that this place might be better. Yeah, and if I just destroy this wall... Okay, yeah, so this is probably a better place to continue to live from. Place down a flame altar here, just build a bridge, and yeah. Okay, so that is probably something that I want to do, because we have gotten some weapons that I haven't seen before. Let's see, if we travel back, and I want to just quickly change my outfit. There we go. And yeah, I do believe that I have found... No, that was the Lumen Shade. Maybe it was that one that I found. No, I could have sworn that I had one of these in Legendary. Ah, uh, might just be my imagination. Yeah, maybe. I have a Thunderbolt Axe. No, it is in uncommon, so... Hmm, maybe. Maybe some more looting is required. Maybe that's gonna be the next episode. Just me looting and talking about weird stuff. Maybe I'll dedicate an entire episode to my cat. Who knows? <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, we, uh, well, we, we, we might be onto something. Because there was quite a bit of weird weapons that dropped there. Some that I haven't seen before. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, and the Shroud Corrupted Hammer. I don't believe that I've seen this one before. It's level 25, so, hmm. Yeah, yeah, right. Anyhow, I'm running out of time, so I think that I'm gonna say, as always, until next time.